Yo guys, what is up? It is Snake. We are back, and we are here to break down my initial thoughts on the upcoming main slate for NFL. I will try to pump a video out on Thursday, talking about the Thursday through Monday slate, but for now, these are my initial thoughts on the main slate. Uh, so we got a 12-game main slate. Uh, should be a good one. So let's start off. We're just going to go position by position today, and then we'll go game by game maybe on... Uh, on Friday or Saturday, whenever I do that video, it'll probably, maybe it'll be Friday night. Um, I don't know. I don't know what day it's going to be up. It'll be Friday or Saturday. Just know that. I'll have a video up uh, breaking down the full thing. But well, let's get into this preliminary thoughts. Starting off at quarterback, we start at the top end with my uh, with some of my preferred plays up here at the top. We've got Russell Wilson, who dudded last week for me. Man, he, whew, he puts up 20 points. It's a much better week. Uh, I did fully cash cash games, but I didn't hit my GPPs. That really hurt. Um, I was in the $150 three entry max, and I missed that baby by like two points, which is just brutal. If if Russ doesn't take that safety and they finish that drive, I think I get the points I need. Uh, but, you know, as things happen, I don't think Russ is dropping another 11 point or 12 and a half points, whatever he got. Two fumbles. If he just doesn't fumble, I think I cash that stupid thing. Man, that pisses me off. But then I look and I see that he fumbled twice. But, uh, yeah, I doubt Russ is getting 12 again. Um, I, I'm just especially, he's going to be pissed. It's Dallas. It's a prime game at 425. I think Russ is showing up. One of my favorite quarterbacks on the league. Tom Brady has not been uh, great over the past three weeks. I mean, he put up some numbers last week. He threw for 298. If he throws for two more yards, uh, he he finishes with 20 points, essentially. So take that as you will. He almost had 20. But the Dolphins game, outlier. Uh, Buffalo, he didn't play bad. He threw 70% completion percentage. Um, he just didn't. He just didn't throw any touchdowns, so that was the only issue there. So I really don't... He really hasn't played bad, except for the Miami game. I mean, this was a good game against Pittsburgh. He just didn't throw touchdowns. There was a rushing touchdown by Deion Lewis and a rushing touchdown by Burkhead. Uh, so, I, I don't know. It's just kind of an outlier. They play Buffalo this week. Uh, Gronk should go ham again. But, yeah, I have no problem playing Brady. Um, I'm looking for probably 20 points from Brady. 20, 21 is value, cash game value at 3x for Brady. And so I would, I will probably play Russ over Brady, but I do like Brady. Uh, Cam is next. He comes in at 6,800. Put up a huge game as chalk. I can't believe I survived his 31 and a half as chalk when Russ put up 12 and a half. Um, I had 19 less points at quarterback and I somehow made it up. Uh, which was crazy because I had D.D. Westbrook in my line as well, as well as Ricky Seals-Jones. I mean, I had a lot of garbage in my line. I don't really know how I made it up. I had some Maj P. Ryan who put up eight. It was not a good week, but I still somehow cashed. That's how it was early. Like, the first three weeks of the year, I just didn't like... My lines just didn't do well, but they somehow cashed. Uh, and, and that's what happened last week. Um, I had kind of been on the end of some bad beats the last couple of weeks, losing by, like, two points or, like, five points of the cash line. Uh, so it was nice to kind of get on the other end of it this week. Uh, I think it was up about five points on the cash line. Um, in the middle of the year, I was crushing it. And so we've kind of regressed back to the beginning of the year where I was winning. I think I started this year out 7-0 and or 8-0 and on the main slate. And I've kind of trickled back. I think I'm 11 and, f what are we, we're 15 weeks, 11 and 4 on the main slate or something like that, 12, 10 and 5. I think I'm 11 and 4. I think I'm 11 and 4 on the main slate. Um so let's 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 get into Cam Newton here. So he plays the Bucks. Uh, he plays an awful Bucks defense. Um, uh, Cam is more of a GPP play for me than he is a cash. He does have that safe floor with his rushing, um, but he's more of a GPP. I'd rather play Russ, who has the same essential floor rushing, and he he's responsible for like ninety three percent of their touchdowns. So I'm just gonna play Russ. Uh, let's move on. To my next guys that I'm looking at, uh, Blake Bortles, if Leonard Fournette sits. If Fournette doesn't sit, then I probably won't touch Bortles against the 49ers. Though that game, Jimmy G been playing well, and he got a huge price increase up to uh, 5300 uh, Actually, he didn't get the price. He, he, he got the price increase last week, and then he got decreased because he's playing the Jags. Uh, so I don't really want Jimmy Garoppolo against the Jags. But, so... Bortles, if Fournette is out, 
Uh, no Bortles if Fournette is in. Uh, Phillip Rivers against the Jets. Um, they're going to have to win now, so I do like Rivers. Um, uh, he's probably too close to Russ for cash for me to play him in cash, but a decent GPP option. Same with Matt Ryan and Matt Stafford. The Bengals have essentially given up, so um, anybody against the Bengals is fine. Uh, Goff. Uh, Goff plays well, but Tennessee doesn't give up a lot of big plays. Tennessee also now has to win. Uh, I feel like we get some better performances out of them. Dak, interesting at only 6K. Um, he are, enters the cash game consideration against Russell Wilson. He saves you $1,000. So same game, but Zeke is back, and we'll talk about Zeke. So probably a no on Dak, but he is interesting at only 6K. Uh, Tyrod Taylor interests me at 5,500. Uh, Patriots should get up big in that game. They're going to want to close this out. They got that win against the Steelers um, on that catch that is going to be argued about for way too long. Uh, I, I mean, like, it probably should be a rule that it's a catch. It was. It's not a catch by definition of the rule. And I don't know. I feel like we should just all move on. Like, I <laughs> I like. I feel like I would not still be on this if my if the Patriots would have lost on a call like that. I feel like I still wouldn't be on this. I would be annoyed that it happened, but I I feel like I would have moved on from this by now. But people are still talking about it here on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, they're gonna wanna they're gonna need they they wanna close this out. They can't be losing to Buffalo. They play the Jets week seventeen. I think they can't be losing that either. They need to lock this up. They got the number one seed. Lock it up. Finish off Buffalo and the Jets, and we'll get out of here. So Tyrod should have some upside late in that game with some garbage time. Uh, no interesting cousins against the Broncos. That Broncos defense, even though they suck, they do have some pride, and they do they they're still playing hard. Unlike the Bengals, uh, Mariota they got a win. He knows he hasn't been good. I really like Mariota this week against the Rams. Uh, he was decent last week. Put up 18 at 5900. He hit value. Um, so I, I I will probably have a GPP lineup I play with Marcus Mariota. Um, even if they're if they're down, then I'm definitely he's going to have to throw then. Uh, and so I'm, I'm going to fire up Mariota. I'm going to fire him up in a GPP. It may be a nightmare and an awful decision, but I'm going to fire him up. If you're looking cheap, Eli looks like Eli trying to play with some pride uh, and get out there and get it. But who knows? He might have left it all on the, f on the field last week against the Eagles in that dominant performance. So who knows? Uh, and then other than that, eh, I'm not playing anybody down here. Maybe Brock if he starts. I would maybe consider Brock Osweiler if he starts. Other than that, it's a hard pass on the rest of those quarterbacks. So to recap, I like the three guys at the top, Wilson, Brady, Newton. I like Bortles if Fournette is out. I like Rivers and Ryan and GPPs. They're a little too close. Same with Dak. I mean, you can play Dak in cash, but I think I think he's more GPP. Taylor for cash, Mariota cash and GPP, Eli GPP flyer, and maybe a Osweiler GPP dart. So moving on to running back. We got Zeke back. Zeke Elliott back, only 8K. He looks shredded. I'm locking him in against the Seahawks. I'm, I'm locking. You saw what Todd Gurley did to the Seahawks last week. You know the Seahawks want to play with pride, and they're going to come out, and they're going to come out well this week, I think. They're going to come out well. But Zeke at 8K, yeah, just give me give me Ezekiel Elliott at 8K. I mean, we can build a lineup here early in the week, so let, let, me, let me put him in. Let me put, let me put Zeke in. 8K. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna smash. If he, uh, I'm willing to take the L if he does not smash. I will just take my L and move on if he does not smash. I will tell you that right now. I'm I'm taking my fat L if Zeke does not smash. Okay. Top top end, it's Gurley. I don't play Kamara. He's fine GPP. He's fine cash if you want to play him. Um, he he does well every week. I just don't play him. Okay, that. I, I'm more apt to play Mark Ingram, who gets more touches, than I am to play Kamara. But I'm not playing Hunt, Kamara, or Ingram next week, I don't think. I won't pl I'm not going to play Shady either, especially if especially if um, uh, Calvin Benjamin is out. So Benjamin, I don't even know if Benjamin played this last week because I didn't have any interest in them. Uh, where is Benjamin? How much is okay? Benjamin is forty two hundred. Is Benjamin gonna be out? He oh did he play? He played, but he only caught two. Yeah, he's still like not a hundred percent. Yeah, 
Okay, he still has that knee injury. Yeah, I probably won't play Shady. I think probably as bad as Stefan Gilmore is, he can probably take him away. So I probably won't play. Probably won't play Shady. Fournette, no interest, even if he plays because he has that injury. There's no reason for them to push him with the playoffs coming. Uh, Melvin Gordon, he just isn't efficient enough for me. Like, he's been a lot better over the last few weeks getting more uh, average per attempt, but he doesn't get the 100-yard bonus. And, like, this one, he needed 91 receiving yards in order to, to get value, and he got most of it in garbage time. And so, I guess that whole game was garbage time because how bad Rivers played. But, I mean, it's gonna. T he has hit 100 yards just twice all year, I think. Yeah, twice all year he's hit 100 yards. I mean, I just can't pay 7,200 for Melvin Gordon when you got mini Le'Veon Bell down here and Kenyon Drake absolutely getting all the usage. He's getting catches. He's getting the attempts. I mean, he's just mashing. If Damian Williams is out and... I got the money. I mean, it's a Kenyon Drake. It's Kenyon Drake, and it's it's my boy. It's the boy up top, Todd Gurley, 9,100. Just put him in. Just put Gurley in. I actually beat the guy with Gurley in my fantasy league to advance to the championship, but it doesn't get much safer than Todd Gurley. He needs 27 to hit value, which is pretty high, but if he got 24, 22, I would be happy still with Todd Gurley, and it's a reasonable expectation. They've got it locked up. Tennessee is better against the pass than they are against the run and uh so Todd Gurley should run should run wild uh he should get carries he should get should get some receptions um I I fully expect Todd Gurley to to mash again but for sake I would play Zeke over Gurley um and I would probably like Kenyon Drake is 2k cheaper I'd play him over that so we won't play Gurley in this lineup we'll leave flex blank but I do like Gurley a lot. So moving on to wide receivers, Julio Jones gets a matchup against the Saints. Not in love with that. The first guy that I really like, um, who is Larry Fitzgerald. Um, he gets Dominique Rogers Cromartie, which I don't love, but Dominique Rogers Cromartie, I think only played 42 snaps in his in two games ago. I don't know his snap percentage on Sunday. It's still too. I haven't looked yet, so it's too early in the week. If you played another 40%, then that's fine. Larry Fitzgerald's fine. I don't want EJ Green against Slay. Uh, Funches is fine. Not. I don't really love Funches. Uh, Sterling Shepard is fine. I'm thinking he might actually get Patrick Peterson, even though he's in the slot. The, the, the Giants don't have anybody else to throw the ball to. So there's a slim chance that he might get Pat Pete, which zero interest there. Tyreek Hill interesting against the Dolphins um he's been doing a lot better recently um he had he was kind of sporadic early in the se season with kind of a single digit big game single digit big game it's kind of been big game okay game big game okay game so um I have some interest in Tyree Kelly against the Dolphins uh, Kansas City needs to keep winning uh so they should keep throwing the ball uh, Robert Woods had himself a big game against uh the Seahawks um, had six catches, 45 yards, and a touchdown. Put up 16 points at 5,700. Met that cash game value. And Robert Woods pretty much been getting double digits all year since uh, week five, which is kind of when they decided to kind of let it air out. He had that game against San Francisco, too. Uh, so I'm interested in him. Mike Evans, 6,400. Have some interest in him as well. He had a pretty good game out here against the Falcons, and his price did not adjust. It's not even posted yet, his uh, score yet. Yeah, I believe he had five catches for 70 yards and a touchdown. Uh, so Mike Evans against the Panthers, uh, I'm definitely interested in playing that. Uh, so we'll throw him into the lineup. We got Josh Gordon against the Bears. Interesting there. We've got Jarvis Landry. Uh, I'm going to throw him as well. He just produces every week. He gets catches. He produces. Thir 10 for 99. He gets one more yard. It's 10 for 20. Just 20 points plus the bonus, 23. Huge crush on value for Jarvis Landry. Hits 4x value. Uh, at 6,300, just I'm just gonna put him in for now. Um, you're get we're getting a little strap for cash here. We'll go ahead and go look for a defense. We'll just put in a random 3K here. We'll put in the Patriots defense. Don't play the Patriots defense, but um, we'll throw them in there just to just to get an idea on price. So let's continue with the wide receivers. We had D.D. Westbrook. Uh, if Marquise Lee is out and Hearns is out, I like the idea of going back to D.D. Westbrook. He it's kind of that uh, flop lag that. Uh, people talk about so we'll put dd westbrook in there under the assumption that marquis lee and uh 
what's his face, Lee and uh, Hearns are both still out. Uh, other guys to take a look at, Des Bryant against the Seahawks, Tate against the Bengals, uh, Doug Baldwin, I guess, maybe against the, the Cowboys. I don't love Doug Baldwin. He hasn't been doing much. Josh Gordon against the Bears. He sucked it up last week, which I'm kind of happy about. So I guess he didn't suck it up, but he had 11 targets, but he only went 5 for 47. So have some interest in Josh Gordon as well. He's a $7,500 receiver you're getting for 63. Um, let's see here. Marquise Goodwin against the Jags, maybe. GPP flyer. Rashard Matthews, I have interest in him. He produced last week. He's only 5,100 this week. Put up 21 and a half. Uh, really wish he could have gotten up five more yards. It would have really helped me out. If he would have gotten one more catch for like six yards, would have been worth four and a half points. Would have been perfect. Jamison Crowder against the Broncos. He'll get Bradley Roby probably. So that's an interesting matchup maybe to look at. Um, Keelan Cole. Look at Keelan Cole if Hearns and Lee are out. Um, if Ted Ginn remains out, look at Tommy Lee Lewis, possibly. Uh, now we're getting down here into guard. Maybe Corey Coleman, he he had a bad game last week, but I, I, I like Corey Coleman a little bit this week. Jordan Mickens, I guess, you can take a look at if Hearns and Lee are out. Maybe take a look at Mickens, but I doubt I go there. Demir Bird, I wanted to play Bird last week. I had him in my lineup, and then I took him out because I was like, oh, I don't want to play a 3K receiver in cash, and so that was stupid. Uh, what did he actually score? What's his score? 17-5. Okay. Wasn't insane, but on a 3K price tag, it's pretty insane. It's almost 6X. Uh, I think that's about it. Maybe Kenny Britt as a GPP crazy GPP flyer. Maybe play Kenny Britt. Uh, moving on to tight end, and then we'll talk defenses real quick. Tight ends. We got Gronk up top. Obviously, got the money. Go ahead and play for Gronk or Kelsey. They're both great plays. Uh, Evan Ingram has a decent matchup. Um, probably won't play him. Olsen, decent matchup against the Bucks. Um, I don't know if I'll go to Olsen. Um, I, Olsen will probably end up chalk after his big week. I don't know if I want to go there. Jimmy Graham against Dallas. I like that spot for him. Uh, if we're going cheap, probably Charles Clay back to the Ricky Seals-Jones whatever you want to call it, just not fun on the Ricky Seals-Jones train, but it is the Giants. So maybe we go back to Rick, Ricky Seals. I do not want to play Ricky Seals-Jones again, but uh, O.J. Howard, who has seen a huge bump in snaps, he had a big game last night, um, and so he's an option. I think that's probably it. Maybe a Julius Thomas against Casey. Uh, ASJ, only 8K. Uh, he's had some pretty bad games, but he is still getting some targets. Um, and so he's maybe worth a look at 2700 For purposes, let's go ahead and put in Ricky Seals-Jones into the lineup. So we got our flex. We got 4800 for flex at a QB. So that means we're going to come way down here. Um, let's see here. We'll play, we'll play Jaden Mickens. We'll play Mickens. It gives us 5900 for a quarterback. Uh, probably slot in Tyrod Taylor. So there's a little bit of a preview look at the lineup. Defenses, I'll have to dig more into this, but just off the top of my head with defenses, uh, Jags, Chargers, obviously at the top. Uh, the Bears against the, the Browns, but they're expensive. I don't really want to pay that. Uh, Cardinals against the Giants. Maybe have some pick six upside against Eli. Detroit against the Bengals. I like that one. Uh, but I do like a little Geo Bernard if Mixon is unable to go. Uh, but it, it, the Lions may be the Lions may be the defense, which would allow me to go here. Here we go. Lions go Lions there. X out Tyrod, and we can get our boy Dak Prescott in here. Get Dak in there. Spends all the money. Um, any other cheap defenses? Hmm. No, not really. I'll probably end up playing the Lions D against... The Lions still need to win. The Bengals have literally given up. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it. That's the first look for NFL Week 16. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another NBA breakout. Peace out.